So what we'll be looking at today is this Rifler F36 set. Um, comes in this nice black case. I believe it's wood with uh, this leather covering. It's kind of cool if you look off to this certain direction, you can see almost like the wood grain underneath the um, cover there. It's pretty cool. There's a close up of that. Uh, it's got this old school latching pin here that slides out and there we have it. So this has set has this nice dark navy blue um, velvet. Wouldn't it be cool if I open this up and there's a secret beam compass in there, but there isn't. Um, anyways, uh, so this is the F series. Um, pick this set up from a seller in Germany. And uh, right away, you might be thinking, if you know your stuff, that uh, this looks really similar to the G series, and it does um, look very similar. I don't know, again, the exact um, history. I did have a catalog that I referenced earlier that showed the E series and the F series and the A series all being made at the same time. Uh, I don't know when the G series was introduced, but it looks like this is basically very similar to the G series. and maybe kind of a transitionary transitional uh series going from the round system to the flat system uh they called it the flat pattern series um so this is a cool assembly here um yeah this is kind of like a we'll get into it in a minute more but uh the details but this is kind of like i'm considering this almost like a hybrid set between the A and the G. Um, so you got the compass here, what I'm going to call a large compass, extension, mystery piece, uh, divider, of course, and some rolling pins. And this is a divider as well. It's just a small divider. Um, and this cool little trinket here, this drop bow compass, and various other things we'll go over. So let's look at the... Uh, main compass first. So first of all, this has this nice, um, nice profile, which is, uh, on a lot of the rifle kind of G series, which when I think about it, um, you got the flat here and then you have the rounded like that on the top and bottom kind of reminds me of their, the profile is kind of like the logo here or the shape of the, um, the shape around the logo. Um, that's kind of the profile of the compasses. Coincidence? I think not. Um, so that's really cool. I, I just like the feel of it. Um, this is, of course, nickel silver. And you can see this set has a very nice, well-aged patina on it. Um, some sets that you get kind of just have, like, crud. I don't know if someone just had, like, really dirty hands from, like, you know making pasta by hand and then they went straight to drafting uh, and there's just like crud on there these don't really have crud it's just a nice well-rounded well-aged fermented patina on there and I probably am just gonna leave it just like that don't plan to uh, polish these up I kind of like the way they look um, so with this series you have of course, and you can see the inside there. You have this centering system, this plate here, and um, of course the screw. There's also, I took apart another one recently to polish it, and up inside the head here, there's a little nib or nub that um, sticks into an indentation here that keeps that plate from shifting, and that keeps this, this uh, head here centered when you're opening and closing. This feels really nice and smooth. I haven't adjusted this at all. As far as the tightness of the screw, it's already, you can maybe kind of see it's already maybe a little bit over tightened already. So, oh well. Feels very nice and smooth though. And again, I just like the little details with uh, some of these sets. You'll notice um, this is kind of like a nice oversized, pretty big little thumb screw there, which feels nice to operate. And it's really cool how they have that little notch there for the um, thumb screw to sit inside. Um, 
then you have an additional indentation so that the screw itself, you know, can rest easily in there. And uh, so you've got your light holder here. Now this thing, of course, is like your standard removable um, piece there. Uh, you'll see on most modern compasses. And then you have a joint right here, which feels very nice and smooth. These are kind of trippy because you can see the, the darkened spot there where there's like a kind of a semi different material there, but you don't see like a flat head for a screw or anything like that. It's nice. And then it's just your standard, you know, lead holder. Um, it's got a short little piece of lead in there. And you can see the angle of the lead is just kind of straight with the leg, or I should say parallel with the leg. Not a problem because you have this joint here. And on this side, you have the uh, needle holder. It's got the screw there. So, you know, you're not going to be changing out your needles frequently as the lead. So they give you a screw. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has this tiny little needle off the shoulder there. It's a shoulder needle point. And you can almost not see it with the naked eye, but it's there. It's, ooh, it's very sharp. You know, this has a joint as well. And you can see that, which is nice. Double jointed. It's got two knees. And uh, let me move this case out of the way here. We'll get to some of this stuff in a minute here. So again, this just feels really nice in the hand. It's, it's pretty um, lightweight. I don't have my lead sharpened how it normally would be sharpened, but. Um, you get out into the wider ranges, you can, you know, I like that this joint's nice and low and not like way up here because then you, you lose all that distance whenever you, so you can start off by, you know, going like that. That gives you a pretty big radius right there without any uh, extensions in there at all. And then if you want to extend this thing, first option is you have this piece right here, which again has this nice fat thumb wheel. And if you pay attention, you'll notice it has this little piece here where it, uh, that kind of keys into the leg on this side. Right there, there's a little notch there. So this only goes in one way, like so. And then of course this piece goes in here. Again, it has the notch. That's very tight, all right. So for starters, you can do that. And again, you've got the joint there. You can do something like that, you know. Now you're into, into a two-handed operation, right? And there's various adjustments you can make with the legs and the angles of everything. You get the point. And then there's this piece over here that at first I wondered, what does this do? What, how does that, there's no screw, there's no, but what I was saying earlier that this is kind of like a hybrid uh, transitional piece in the evolution of uh, rifler, rifler, this piece right here is very similar to the A series where there's no uh, fitting, there's no screw, there's no thumb wheel. That's just in there by pressure. So then you can extend this side as well. Again, you have that slot there. Uh, so that slides in there and this piece fits into there. And then you have a proper mega compass. Have you ever seen a compass that large? That is just sick, man. Look at that. So from there, that is like, I don't know, let's measure that. Let me get my ruler here. Gosh, that's, uh, yeah, like nine inches overall length. So from here, you can just imagine 
you can make a very large uh, circle with this, you know. Again, it gets a little, maybe a little wonky because it's just so long. But uh, not, my paper's not even big enough to handle this right here right now. But That's pretty sick though. Um, of course, that can be used like a regular, you know, compass like so. And then you can take this thing out. There's the max range right there. And so, and there you just have a really, really large uh, radius. You're over a foot, so that's, that's just nice, All right? This allows you to have a really, really big range. Seems pretty stable. All right, so that's cool. It's very, very cool. Very cool that you have this kind of hybrid side over here. All right, let's put that back together. You get the gist of that. Okay, back to normal size. That was a little, a little weird there. All right, I'm gonna put this back in here. And next we will look at the divider. Not a lot to say about this. Um, I've already probably said too many words, but again, it's got the same mechanism in there inside. And uh, this feels really nice and smooth. Uh, Again, I just like the styling of, of these instruments. So on this one, you've got this flat edge here. And then, of course, it's rounded over here. And then on the inside, it's different. It's rounded on the inside here. It doesn't have that same flat profile. So that kind of feels really nice on the fingers there. And it's just a, um, you know, standard divider. You've got your screws here that hold the needles in, uh, that, that um, pinch them in there. And you've got the typical... Just plain um, needles on there. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now let's look at this guy, which is uh, again, this is another, <coughs> pardon me, another divider. This is a little tiny one. And this is a cool design. Again, this looks very uh, similar to the G series. You got this bow spring here. You got this nice little recessed um, kind of hinge pin in there, and it's looking very. Oh, then you got the. Little logo right there, not logo though, the name, you know, Rifler Germany, Rifler. And of course you get the plain uh, needles in there. Again, this is a divider strictly. Um, there you can't put lead in here because um, the way it pinches it, it would just break it and it's not the right size. So this is for doing a, you know, very small measurements and transferring, etc. This is a kind of cool mechanism here, I think this threaded nut here is basically just resting in a little like hollow on the side. And of course the, it's uh, the tension of the spring is pushing outward on it. So um, that's kind of a cool design I haven't seen before. And this feels very smooth. The threads feel very nice on the opening and closing. So that's your little micro divider. Pretty cool. Now let's look at the drop bow compass. Again, this is very similar to the long-standing design that you'll see in the A series. I'll give you kind of a close-up there, and uh, other series as well. So again, you've got this housing here. The needle slides up and down like that. It doesn't spin. The body does not spin around the um, main shaft. And this one, of course, it kind of keeps the same style as the rest of the series. Uh, it's a little bit fatter, kind of flat, but rounded. You got this main steel spring here. And um, this is uh, similar to the needle side of the large compass in that this piece here is simply held in by pressure. Um, does not have a screw to hold it in, so snaps in just like that. And you've got your nice lead holder and your little tiny, tiny, tiny 
needle, which this one's nice and still sharp. And your little tiny screw here. And again, this can be, you know, this is for a very small range. It goes from tiny to small. It doesn't go, you know, bigger than that. But uh, again, to use this, you could simply let it drop and try to hold it vertical. And then it's just the weight of the um, assembly on there. Or you could kind of let it drop, hold it vertical, tighten this screw here on the side, and then you're fixed there, and then you can kind of go like that. In either case, it makes a nice accurate circle. I probably would go with the tighten this screw method uh, if I already use this. So that's a very cool little uh, drop bow compass. Again, this design, I think, some form of this design uh, was there for a very long time. Put that back. And uh, there's not much else to say really regarding this set. Of course you have some ruling pins and they're the nice variety that have this, you know, cross hinged uh, piece there. So that swivels out or comes out completely for cleaning. I will say this, is these, these have the, um, the nice metal handles. So as soon as you feel them, they're, they're cold typically. And so you can tell that they're metal as opposed to the plastic. So that's nice. I like that style. They kind of flare out. Uh, so you got two of those. And these have the little washers underneath the screw, which makes it nice. It feels really good. There you have it. There's the Rifler uh, F-Series, which um, kind of has a cool function that the compass goes out into a mega compass. And uh, it's got some unique features to it. Kind of uh, like a hybrid in between the uh, A to E to G series. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.